Hi guys, it's Jay again from Ayaba's Wind. I'm back to do your um, April 2020 Love Tarot pop-up reading for the sign of Aries. I know it's been a minute, um, so I am going to try and give you the best reading um, for the month of April. Um, I hope all has been well. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I am a priestess in the Afro-Cuban tradition, so I will tend to interpret the cards from an Afro-Cuban spiritualist perspective. Um, I've created some of the oracle cards based on love songs for like the last 40 or 50 years, um, which gives uh, quite an interesting um, spin on uh, tarot card readings. I do incorporate traditional um, classic tarot cards towards the end of the reading um, as well. Um, but other than that, uh, you'll get information on descriptions and time frames and all of that. Um, I do um, shuffle on camera. So if you don't want to see the shuffling or the prayer, you can jump to minute five, which is down in the description below, but please jump by all means to minute five if you want to get straight to the reading, okay? I am available for private readings at Ayaba's Wind, W-Y-N-D-999 at gmail.com. We're going to say a quick prayer and get straight to it. So just give me a couple of seconds. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. <laughs> Spirit is talking. These cards are flying out. Sometimes spirit does not want to talk through these decks. They are talking today. They gave the first time checkpoint in several weeks. Wow. Okay. Woo. That's too many cards.
Okay, that's a lot. Okay, we're going to stop there <laughs> with the cards and go straight to it. All right. Wow. And I did a lot of readings. The cards never flew out like this. Aries, you are hot because you're a fire sign. So let's see. Spirit is saying release your ex so that you can evolve to get your blessings. So Spirit is saying let go. <laughs> let go. If you want to move forward and you want to get into union with your special person, you got to do some, I don't want to say cord cutting, but definitely um, releasing the hurt and the pain that you're holding on to, okay? Um, if you haven't seen my previous readings, um, I refer to um, people in your love story, okay? So in your love story, there's you, and then there's your special person who's your divine masculine and or divine feminine, okay? And then there are karmic. So karmic is someone that you could be dating where you learn your lesson from them, um, and then you move on from them into union, provided you've learned your lesson. It could be the, a karmic with your special person, that they're with the karmic to learn a lesson. They learn their lesson and then they move on and then you guys eventually come into union, okay? But if you haven't learned your lessons, you're not going to come into union or the union is not going to be smooth until the lessons are learned, okay? Um, Spirit is saying the ego is holding me back from happiness and wish fulfillment, okay? So... So basically, I don't know if this is you and your ego or this is your special person and they have an ego. And because the ego is so big, that's preventing you guys from going into union. All right. So there's there's work that has to be done. People got to work on their personality in order to get the happiness, the wish fulfillment and to come into union. More than likely, you're watching this video amongst many other tarot card videos because you guys are not in union yet. Or if you are in union, the union is rocky. Um, and so, uh, and that's because lessons have not been learned yet. You're not vibrating as high as you could be, okay? You're not evolved the way you need to be according to divine, okay? Okay, they are using black magic brujeria to block this romantic connection, okay? So guys, I don't know if you got this card before, but yeah, someone is throwing something. And I know people do not like this card. I don't prefer the card either. But the card showed up. So Spirit is saying someone works something. They put, they hooked up a little candle. Um, they did a little hex, a curse, a bilongo, trabajo. They worked some at bowls, whatever it is that they did. Um, you know, maybe put something in your food took someone's panties and did something they did some kind of something they worked a route <laughs> okay someone worked something um and spirit is letting you know so that you can proceed um accordingly all right to whoever you pray to direct your prayers to breaking whatever this is that was sent out to you spirit is saying that there's a secret love child okay so the secret love child you could have conceived a love child um, with your karmic, and but really that child was not your karmics. That love child could have been the person that you were with before your karmic um, in a third party situation, or you may have snuck out, something like that. Or your special person could have been with you um, or with the karmic and stepped out um, and had a love child, okay? And, um, Maybe you're just finding out about it. Maybe you didn't know about it, but spirit is letting you know that there's a love child in the mix. Okay. Um, it could be that you have a child, but that child's father is not really the father that you said it is. And there's not been any blood test done. Okay. Uh, but there's a secret love child somewhere. Okay. A child that was had and no one knows about it but now you do because spirit is giving you a window into someone's life right now um, but there's a love child somewhere now keep in mind these energies could cover the immediate past what's going on presently or it could happen in the near future okay and the energies can cover several days several weeks or several months all right so but someone is on bended knee and a proposal is coming, boys to men. So get ready. 
despite this whole love child thing, maybe the love child is forcing someone into union, but spirit is saying um, someone is going to be getting down on the knee <laughs> and proposing. So I don't know when this is going to happen. Let's see if spirit has given some time checkpoints, but yeah, there's a, there's a proposal coming. Um, and you know, I see boys to men. So it's someone that has matured and they're realizing the love is the love lies with you. Hopefully, hopefully they're realizing that. Okay. I'm missing your sweet kisses and your loving. So someone is reminiscing about making love to you, about connecting, being intimate, you know, sharing those special private moments with you, okay? This could be you reminiscing about your special person or your special person reminiscing about you. Um, and so um, now, this special person, this divine masculine or divine feminine could be someone totally new and they're just kind of fantasizing and idealizing about what it will be like to be with their special person. Or this could be someone that you had connected with and for whatever reason things didn't work out. But, you know, you're hoping that you can come back into union with this person or come into union with this person. Spirit is saying, I want to dominate you. Okay. <laughs> so what does that mean? And I'm not sure if this came up in your previous reading. I want to dominate you can be a couple of things. Someone could have used black magic, brujeria, witchcraft, spell work, whatever it is, to try and dominate you. To try and get you to do what they wanted you to do. They could have used black magic, brujeria, witchcraft to block you from getting connected to other people. Um, because they can't have you. They don't want anyone else to have you. That's a possibility. Um, there could be a number of different reasons. Or I want to dominate you is basically, you know, this person, because they're an ego, someone has a big ego, they want to control you. Okay, that's a possibility. Or it could be a sexual thing where they like to dominate you in the bedroom. I'm not really feeling that, but that's a possibility. Okay, so just the two of us, we can make it if we try. Bill Withers, I think this was a song from like the 1970s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so basically this person you, is holding out for hope. Um, you could be hoping and wishing and praying. You know, this person could be wishing and praying for you guys to come back into union or come into union with one another, okay? Um, but it depends on what the situations are with the karmics, the people on the side that you're dealing with. I was wrong for what I did to you. So if someone violated you, they're sorry. And even if they never said sorry to you, they can't fix themselves to say sorry. Spirit is saying they're sorry. They regret it, okay? They regret it. And if this is the person with the ego saying sorry, sorry with a big ego, mm -mm, those two don't match. <laughs> it generally doesn't happen that way. Okay. But this person is really sorry for what they did. Um, there are reasons why I left, but I can't let you go. Earth, wind and fire. This could be from 1970s, 1980s, that song. So basically, maybe the reason why they left is because there was a secret love child. And maybe you just didn't understand, like, okay, we broke up for what? Why? It didn't make sense to you. Maybe that's a possibility for a small set of you, not for everybody. But this is a possibility. Maybe this person left because they conceived, they got someone pregnant, okay? And they just played it off like, we're not working, you know, bye, see you later. And you were like, what? So that's a possibility. The first time checkpoint, several weeks, okay? So something's gonna go down in several weeks. What's several weeks? We're in the middle of April right now. So every, several weeks brings us to May. Brings us to the end of May, beginning of June. So something is gonna happen in the next several weeks. The spirit wants you to keep your eyes open for. Now, someone in this love story 
has short, light hair, okay? So short is above the shoulders, light hair, they could have blonde, brown, uh, light brown, blonde, or red hair, okay? Very light colored hair. Someone in this love story it could be a karmic, it could be you, it could be your special person. Somebody's got short, light hair, okay? And if you're like, well, I don't know who this person is, this could be a person that someone is dealing with that you don't know about, okay? But right now, I'm in hermit mode. So someone is in, in contemplation, okay? They're, they're, they're thinking, they're strategizing, trying to figure out which way to go and what to do, okay? Someone who is financially stable is coming, okay? So whoever this person is that you're going to be coming into union with is definitely going to be financially stable, okay? They're going to have their shit together. They're going to have their selves together financially, okay? And it's going to be um, a welcome uh, relief for you, okay? A uh, very welcome relief for you. It's someone that's going to be able to match you, all right? Um, wow. Okay, guys. If someone is not has not just gotten married, someone's about to get married, okay? You got two wedding cards. Wedding bells are ringing and on bended knee. Wow. Hmm. So you either laid it on someone or someone laid it on you, okay? They can't get you off their mind, okay? And they're going to be throwing themselves <laughs> down to ask for your hand. Someone's getting married here. Somebody, okay? Marriage is coming. And did you know, like, if, if you live in, um, I think, New York, New York, you can get married online. They have someone that will marry you, or I think via Zoom or some kind of Google video or whatever. You can get married online, okay? Just FYI. Okay, someone was cheating. Spirit is saying someone was cheating. So if you have questions about someone that you're with, a karmic or maybe an ex-lover, did they cheat on me? Like, what was the problem? Why did they leave? Why do we break up? Or, you know, you have suspicions. Spirit is saying someone's cheating. That's it. So, um, they're just letting you know um, that someone is not squeaky clean. Okay. Maybe that's that person that's cheating could be you. No judgment. I'm just saying. Spirit is saying somebody's cheating up in this love story. Um, I'm going to give you all of me because I want all of you, John Legend. They play this at weddings, okay? Weddings, a wedding is inevitable. Wedding's coming up for you. Maybe the wedding is coming up in the summertime, possibly. But someone is ready to just like give you everything. They're ready to surrender. You, or this could be you to them. Or the feelings could be mutual. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. And you got that magic that no one else has in DRE. That's another like relationship song. Okay. Wow. So, you know, someone has really like, I don't know, like, I'm feeling like, like you've got someone mesmerized. I'm saying that like, yeah, you got someone mesmerized. Is something that you did to them. My head is tingling. It's something that you did to them. And maybe it's something they did to you. But y'all, whoo, mm, laid it down, okay? I'm hearing cootie cat, and I don't use that word. So I don't know what the cootie cat is, but someone laid it down. All right. I don't, I don't even use that word. Um, someone's tripping over your love, LMA. Tripping. So, you know, someone might be a little, there may be a little jealousy there going on. Like, you know, it's like, okay, what's going on? Where are you? <laughs> I need you right now. I miss you. Why are you doing this? Someone could be, yeah, someone is not happy. Someone's in their feelings right now. They're tripping. All right. And, but, you know, whoever's tripping, spirit is saying 
that I am trustworthy. So if you felt like you couldn't trust this particular person, Spirit is saying, I'm trustworthy. All right, so let's build on this. We're gonna pull from another deck that's gonna give more descriptions on people and places and things. Take that one. The spirit is saying what you leave, don't come back for. <laughs> the spirit is saying don't go back to somebody. I don't know who that is. Love is on the horizon. Six of Cups. You know what that means. All right. Let's see what they're saying. We got the next checkpoint, Spring. Right now, something's about to go down. Or something happened last spring, but I tend to think it's going to be this spring. Okay, so that's all they want to speak through through this step. Okay, so spirit is saying that self care is needed right now. You need to visit a doctor and or therapist. Okay, so spirit is not saying that you're sick necessarily, but if you feel like something is not balanced or you haven't been to the doctor in a while, spirit is saying it's time to go. Okay, definitely get a check, get a full blood panel, make sure that you have you know all of your. Um, you know, your nutrient levels are up in your blood. Um, everything is functioning. Okay. Spirit wants you to go to the doctor to get checked. Um, um, also, you know, emotionally, if you're feeling, if you're having a hard time coping with things, definitely try and go see a therapist as well. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying, like I said, what you leave, don't come back for. So that can get you in a world of hurt. So Spirit is saying, if you go back with a particular person, it could be a lot of drama. It could be drama. It could be fighting. Um, you could possibly get an STD or some kind of um, communicable disease from this person because maybe they're sleeping around. We don't know. That's a possibility. Um, it just could be drama. And so Spirit is like, to avoid all that drama, what you leave, don't come back for it. But Spirit is saying that new love is on the horizon. New love is coming. All right. So this could be your soulmate. Okay. Um, that's a possibility. So Spirit is, uh, excuse me, definitely saying keep your eyes open. There's a gypsy spirit guide that wants attention. Okay. So you may have a diviner um, 
a spirit guide that walks with you that has an affinity towards you um, or maybe it could be an ancestor of yours that used to be able to read tarot cards that could read tea leaves that could read um, ashes on cigars that could read water that could read fire um, that has some kind of ability to divine maybe someone who could read rooms um, but nevertheless you have a spirit guide that wants attention so if you want to if, and you're like well I don't know who that is how do I connect you dedicate a little tea light candle a little candle to them a nice clear glass of water um, and you just be like look I dedicate this this glass of water and this light to you, Gypsy Spirit Guide. Um, show me who you are. Show me through my dreams. Show me on the internet. You know, give me some names, a name. Show me what you look like. Tell me what it is that you want. Okay. And so they'll show you. They'll show you. They want to present themselves. Okay. Spirit is saying baptism in the river. So basically it's time for you to do a spiritual bath, especially since someone has thrown something on you. You definitely need to think about doing the white bath on my discussion section. The white bath, um, you can um, take a bowl of water with um, cool to lukewarm water. You can add cascaria, which is powdered eggshell. It's a sacred ingredient in my tradition. Um, you can take some of the powdered eggshell, add it to the to the bath. It's for purification, cleansing, um, to destroy negative energy. Um, you can add some shavings of cocoa butter from a cocoa butter stick that you could buy, like wool, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Dwayne Reed. Put some shavings of cocoa butter. Put a little bit of cow's milk or goat's milk um, or coconut milk in there as well. It's a white bath. And you can put a few drops of um, Kelowna water, just a few drops because it can irritate. Um, and then you, if you have some white flowers, take some white flower petals and put it in. Store it with your left hand. Ask, you know, for your spirit guides, protections for God to cleanse you, to uplift you, rejuvenate you, to break all spells, curses, hexes, to get rid of any negativity. After you physically bathe with soap and water, you're going to dump it over your head. You're going to air dry. You're going to wear white, sleep in white. All right. And you can do this for a few days. Okay. And see if things alleviate. The other thing is, if you have access to a river, and if you have safe access to a river, meaning like you can walk down to the river like a beach, and you can touch the water with your hand. If you can touch the water with your hand, walking down like a beach to access river water, um, you can get uh, a container of river water, bring it home, and bathe in that, okay, after you do your physical bath. Um, because there are spiritual properties, there, there is a feminine aspect of God that it, that is in the river water um, that has to do with relationships, think matters of the heart. Okay, and so if you're you take these waters, you're cleansing yourself, you're uplifting yourself, you're helping yourself to vibrate on a much higher level than what you are, and you're opening up the way for um, to receive love and passion and intimacy with what it is that you're praying for. Okay. If you do not have safe access to a river, that means that, you know, you look down and you got a, there's a, like a two foot drop, uh, even a one foot drop or two foot or three foot drop down into the river and you can't easily touch the water. Do not risk your life to get that river water. You know what you could do if you live near a river, a waterfront, riverfront property, you could say prayers by the river. That's it. You don't need to get the water. Okay. But spirit is saying that the river is going to be very important for you. Um, money card to the bank. So someone may be receiving money. You may get a windfall of some kind of money. Um, it could be an inheritance. It could be a stimulus, the stimulus check. Um, you could win the lottery. I don't know. So spirit is saying money is coming. All right. Um, now you got a new love on the horizon and the love from the past returns. So maybe this love from the past is the new love that's on the horizon. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. 
but nevertheless love is coming and the love from the past this is a six of a six of cups which usually talks about someone from the past is going to be creeping up okay and then springtime so maybe this love from the past is going to be coming in the next few weeks because you did get i think the several weeks card maybe um and so we only really have we only basically have like a month and a half left of spring so within this next couple of weeks this pat love from the past could come and this may be the one this may be the one that you need to come into union with so now i'm gonna pull from the final oracle deck to see if there's any final descriptions i didn't waste any time Ooh. wow okay wow Okay, we got some description of some signs here. There we go. So that's it for this deck. All right. So <laughs> a lot of cards didn't come out, but the cards that did come out, whew, they're doozies. First card that came out, trouble with getting pregnant. Okay. So this is for a uh, certain segment of you guys. Um, there could have been some challenges with getting pregnant. I don't know if that's you. Um, or your karmic or your special person but there were challenges and maybe the trouble getting pregnant had to do with the black magic that was being worked I don't know where that card went okay that witchcraft okay um, so you know with that whole witchcraft card a lot of people are like uh, you know I don't believe in that okay some of you may not believe in it which is you know that's whatever it is you believe but if you are not vibrating high if you're not in prayer and in meditation okay um you will feel the effects of witchcraft being done on you okay if you are not in prayer if you are not in meditation if you are not vibrating high if you're not um doing those things you will feel the effects okay and so one of the possible effects is that this person could be throwing a wrench in your program trying you may have trouble getting pregnant okay that's what you want um spirit is saying that you must do mantras for love okay so i talked about the river energy um which has that feminine aspect of God that deals with love and relationships. So spirit definitely wants you to cultivate this. You can go to my playlist section and it's it's under pop-up uh, pop love mantras and start to 
say those mantras. Mantras are like medicine for your soul, for your spirit, okay? They help to align you, um, align you and, and boost you and lift and boost your vibration, okay? And, and so spirit is saying that you would benefit from mantras for love. There's mantras to find a spiritual husband and a wife. Um, there's mantras for divine love. There's ma mantras for romantic love. There's mantras for intimate love. Let me tell you, these mantras are not a joke, not a game, and they really work. You can say 108 repetitions in the morning, which is about eight to 10 minutes, and 108 repetitions at night, another eight to 10 minutes, because the mantras are short and easy to pronounce. Guys, get in your zone, pull that love to you, the right love. There is a sex addict or someone with a sexual deviation Okay, so someone in this love story has some kind of sex addiction. I don't know if it stems from childhood and, you know, they can demonstrate deviant behavior. Um, like having random sex with strangers. Like one night stands, it's done to fill a void but the void is only filled temporarily. Okay, this is what spirit is showing me. But someone in the love story has a sex addiction. Okay, spirit is saying an amulet or an eye is needed for protection from envy. All right, so rightfully so, someone has done spell work. So spirit is saying in order to protect yourself, you need to get an eye. So if your eye color is brown, you need to get a spiritual eye. Um, uh, a spiritual eye that's either green or blue. You always get the spiritual eye that's opposite your eye color, not your eye color, okay? You can get it online. You can get it in gold, silver, um, beaded, whatever. Spirit is saying you need to get an amulet. You can charge it up in the sun or in the moonlight. moonlight. You can cleanse it periodically in sea salt, um, but you definitely need the eye and you should bless the eye, all right? say prayers over it spirit is saying that there's illness and time to go to the doctor so this is the second card that you got about going to the doctor um, it didn't say that there's illness but spirit is saying that there's something that could be lurking in your body okay and spirit is giving you the heads up like okay it may not be bad right now and catch it while it's early so you can get the treatment, the medicine, whatever it is you need to, to nip it in the bud. But spirit is saying that there it's time to see a doctor for whatever reason. Spirit is saying that there is a trap that has been set. Okay. So where is this trap coming from? This trap could be from the, um, the candle magic or whatever spell work that they did. Okay. But there's a trap that's been set. So keep your eyes open. Spirit wants you to be extra, extra vigilant. Um, keep your eyes open. Be vigilant around your house. Be vigilant around the people that you have around you. Because it could be those people that have set the trap for you. Okay. Um, so now, who figures in this, this love story, in this scenario? It is either a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. Some kind of water energy. Water energy is big with you guys. Okay? A Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces figures prominently in this reading. It could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces that has set the trap. Okay? Scorpio's birthdays are in um, November. Cancer's in June, July. Pisces um, in February okay um, it could be for a small set of you but a Scorpio cancer Pisces figures prominently in this love story spirit is saying I'm a clout chaser and addicted to getting attention so somebody in this love story they're all about you know a come up okay they're trying to get with the next best thing <laughs> All right. Um, they're trying to jump on board to see who can take them where 
And so it's not really about love. They may fake like they're in love with this person or whatever, but they're chasing clout. So someone in this love story is riding on that energy. All right. So let me pull from the Sibylla deck really quickly. many cards I don't like how those cards came out So let's see. So the Sibylla deck is talking about a conversation. Um, it shows all these people gathered around and talking. So there could be communication happening. Um, that's one for one a set of you. The other set of you is like the spirit is saying, be careful about who you talk to. Okay. Um, there could be like a lot of gossip around you and around your situation. So be careful because spirit is saying that there's a lot of tongues on you. There's a lot of people talking right now. Um, you have the, the hope card, the Esperanza card. And so, you know, this card doesn't really look so good. It doesn't look so hopeful. I don't know why they call it hope. Um Spirit is saying there's hope, but it just looks like this person has been wounded, all right, and is, is tormented, okay? This could be you or this could be your special person. Nevertheless, you know, it's it's not a really good situation right now. Let me, um, I'm going to pull from this other deck. Yeah, something's up with your money, okay? Something's up with the money. The money could be delayed. Money is coming, but there's a delay, and it could be from that witchcraft. And there's something about the courthouse. Something with court papers. Something is up with that. I don't know if there's a child support action. There's too many cards. It's something with documents, okay, in the courthouse. Or someone who has initials C, M, C or M. This court stuff may have to do with someone who has initials C or M. Okay, the journey was cut short and someone has lost out on money or there was a relationship with someone who had money and it's a failed relationship okay um let me take from this classic i think it's marquette that's way too many cards
Okay, so let's see. Um, guys, the first card that came out is the Queen of Wands. But she came out to the side. This woman here, there's a woman that's doing this spell work. And um, she's got ill intentions, okay? I know it's the Queen of Wands, but the energy that I'm picking up from this card is, and my head is tingling, she's the one that's doing the spell work, okay? She's doing the spell work. It's a feminine energy. It's a female, all right? And she, she doesn't have any good intentions. But it, no sooner than her card that fell out, you got the Two of Cups. So you're going to be coming into union, okay? Despite her, the work that she's doing, this spell work, this brujeria, this witchcraft, Spirit is saying you're going to be coming into union, okay? And it's divine, okay? And you have the water yet again. And in this union, this could produce a child, okay? But you got to do those, those white baths and any of the other baths listed to break that those spells, those curses or whatever she put on. All right, which is causing problems with you getting pregnant. That's for a small set of you people. Um, you got the Four of Swords. Okay, so the Four of Swords talks about rest, um, taking a break, you know. Um, <sighs> there could be sickness here. All right, I'm looking at this card. There could be sickness. Um, so, you know, you guys definitely need to go to the doctor when you have a chance, when there's doctors available, if your doctor's available, just, you know, get your blood check up, get everything checked up. There may be nothing wrong, but, you know, I'm looking at this picture and there looks like an ailment, okay? Um, But this ailment could be caused by this spell work that was done, all right? So if you do the cleanings and you're saying your prayers and your mantras for protection and for love, it could be that this ailment or this uneasiness that you feel having to do with your body could go away, okay? But there's a delicate balance between life and death here. And this woman who's done this work you know, she doesn't look very nice. I don't give a damn as the Queen of Wands or not. What her traditional meaning is. I'm looking at the picture and her energy. No bueno. <laughs> okay? No bueno. Spirit is saying that your your um your single days are soon gonna be ending. Okay, if you're not already um, in a relationship. But also this card came reversed, so it could be something to do with your money. Your money may be held up. Um, temporarily because of this work that was done and that's for a small set of you keep in mind I'm keep in mind I'm reading for an international collective of Aries from around the world essentially okay let's find out what your art what your archangels have to say Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Alright. So we're going to quickly go through this. Alright. Um, you have Archangel Uriel. Brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So Spirit was talking about um, uh, your ideas. Definitely continue to work on your ideas. Write your ideas down. Um, and c 
continue to develop them and continue to write and document as you go, okay? Um, peace, Archangel Shemuel, peace comes from remembering that only love is real, okay? So basically, Spirit is saying that, you know, in love, you will find peace, all right? Um, but you'll find peace in real love, real love, true love. That's where your peace will be found, okay? Um, counselor, Archangel Azriel, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Okay, so not only do people come and seek after you for help and support, but spirit is guiding you, okay? And so in order for you to cultivate um, and raise your vibration so that you can help others, you gotta be able to help yourself first. It's, it's self it's self preservation okay um, it's really important you got to help yourself first then you can help others all right and I know people may come run into you asking you for this and that you got to be right <laughs> in yourself first before you can give all right you have the victory card it came upside down but Archangel Sanofan is saying your prayers have been heard and answered have faith Okay, so basically, victory is a little unsteady right now. You guys got to do the banyos, you got to do the prayers, the mantras for protection, what, to whatever it is you believe in, get yourself together so that you can turn this, this card into the upright position and you can get your love, <laughs> your soulmate, okay? and um, get all of the blessings because this woman right here who is doing the work she's got to go okay and she will go okay because you're going to clean yourself up dust yourself off and, and get going get working on the stuff you got to get working on all right I would say I don't feel like you can't get through this I feel I'm very hopeful and I'm excited for you, but you gotta handle your business, okay? And don't sit idle. Raise your vibration <laughs> so that this black magic, brujeria, witchcraft won't have any impact on you, okay? And you will be good. Um, this has been your love tarot pop-up reading for April 2020. I will see you in a few weeks for your May 2020 love tarot pop-up reading. Um, if you like the video, please like the video by all means. I so much appreciate it. Definitely share. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Have a wonderful evening. And if you want a private reading, email me at ayabaswindwynd999 at gmail.com. Ciao.